What's going on guys, your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another Hunter x Hunter reaction. Today we are going to be doing 3 more episodes, episode 8 through 10. Hopefully we can get a 4th in there, but I don't know, maybe not, because I still have other animes I would love to do. Okay, so, um, so, in the last episode, we got to see the showdown between Netero, um, Gun and Killua. So we're still on the airship. Gun has fallen dead asleep. He told him to slow down so that Gun could get some sleep, of course. Um, so I'm curious to see what the next phase of the exam is. So we're just going to jump right in, man. If you guys are well caught up, you want to see an in-depth review of what I said about the last three episodes, go ahead and check that video out man okay so i'm gonna jump into this i will see you guys for the review thank you very much all right what's going on guys i'm back with the review and these three episodes was really good man i liked it um, I have to say, like, I, I like how they're fleshing out the story. Like, they're not rushing it. I like the pace right now. Even though it's not, it's not ideally what I usually look for in anime when it comes on to pace. Um, but I like it because they're, they're, they're taking their time to, to um, show you what these characters are about. Like, I love the fact that what they did with Kurapika, him finding out um, that this guy is um, pretending to be a member of the Phantom Troop. Um, so that was pretty cool. Like, we now we kind of see how much hate Kurapika has for these guys, man. Um, it's... <sighs> It's gonna be a journey. It kind of reminds me of, kind of reminds me of Sasuke a lot, um, on how we got introduced to Sasuke, and the only thing he wanted to do was kill his brother Itachi. So he kind of reminds me a lot. Plus, he got the red eyes. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just he's he's like freaking Sasuke incarnate. This is ridiculous. So is, um. It's just the same kind of hate, you know what I'm saying? Revenge for, for um, he lost his family to these guys. Sasuke lost his family to Itachi. It was just, you know, it's kind of like, it's a very similar story path, if you want to call it that. Um, so, so yeah, we got some really good story development here. Them going through phase three here. Um, I still need to know, so put it in the comment section. I don't remember. I could go look it up myself. Um, I know that voice, man, of the, the prison warden. I'm pretty sure it's the same voice as the, um, the mad scientist. The one that had the, the, um, his bankai was this huge poisonous caterpillar. It was, it, you guys must know what I'm talking about. I just can't remember his, his, his name. Um, but you guys know who I'm talking about. He's one of my favorite captains from Bleach, too. Because um, this laugh that he has is just so funny. And once I hear that voice, like, he, immediately I start thinking about it. It's a little bit different from the Japanese Freezer's voice um, from Dragon Ball. It's a little bit different. I don't know if it's the same person, though. But I don't get that. I don't really get that call back when I hear Frieza laugh, but it could be the same guy. I don't know. But that voice actor, I know that voice, man. So put it in the comment section. Let me know if it's the same guy that that voices um, the guy from Bleach that does the prison warden in, in this anime. That would be cool to know. So um, this guy, man, that he got murdered. He might as well have just died from that punch from Kurapika. Um, we got to get a display of gun speed. 
um, and now we're in a basically a, a gambling match. So I like what they're doing for the stage by stage and what they test these hunters or aspiring hunters. Um, what they test them on is extremely like it's impressive. It's interesting how they test them. So it's never just about just you know straight up fighting and stuff like that as much as i want to see that i also want to see the smarts you know what i'm saying like the smarts of the characters um gun not so much you know he doesn't think things through and it's true the killer was said about him he doesn't really think things through but the thing that i love about gun is his instincts are on point like he's a in the moment kind of guy like how, what can I do in the moment to outsmart you? Like he thinks on his feet better than actually taking time to think things through. He will probably confuse himself. So he usually just think on the fly and like, oh, I'm going to do this. If it works, it works. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. Then I'll try something else. That's how he thinks. And, you know, I'm glad that all four of these characters are so different, even though they're like the main, right? Man. F Tampa. I don't like that that dude. Tampa or Tampa. Might as well be a damn Punani cleaner. <laughs> With his damn name. Freaking uh what do they call them things? The um Tampas? <laughs> Whatever they call them. Tom um tampons. It might as well be a damn tampon, right? So Cause he's definitely a pussy for sure. <laughs> you know, I mean, I hate his character, man. I don't like his character because he's, he's bringing the team down, you know, and I, I have a feeling he's going to end up at the end and probably even become a freaking hunter. Like, and he doesn't want it. Like he, they're going to carry him probably all the, for the rest of the way. And he's going to end up being a hunter and he doesn't even want it. Like all he's there to do is to crush the rookies as he's stated that he doesn't want to be a hunter. He enters every year just to F with the rookies, bro. And to make as many people fail as possible. So that's what he's there for. You always have the haters, man, but you just got to ignore them. Um, give killer a chance. Killer will take care of him. <laughs> So, yeah, so the next episodes will definitely be on Thursday. So make sure you stay tuned for those episodes. Really enjoyed E3. Love the pacing. It's probably the first time I've actually given the anime some props for pacing. Um, these episodes were well thought out um, and really kept you in, in engaged in the process that they're going through from the top of the tower. Now they're inside the tower. Um so I like that. Okay, Isoka is already done with phase three. He passed. Some guy came at him. He caught the knife, cut his head off. Cla classic Isoka, right? Isoka don't play around. Like he's too soft. He's too soft. He nobody ain't ready for him. Nobody ain't ready for him. I don't see nobody on his level yet. Um, I mean maybe Netero. Netero is the only one that I think maybe could stand up to Hisoka right now because he's the he's the, he's the standard right now that I'm looking at because of the respect that he gets from hunters um so he's the top guy right now so you guys have made it clear to me in the last reaction that he's not an instructor so I'm not looking at Isoka as an instructor anymore I know you guys said he was he was um communicating with the pinhead guy but why I don't know. I guess they must be friends, know each other. Um, so we'll. I guess that's a development later or something like that. I don't know. So I'm. I'm just saying. You guys corrected me, so I'm correcting myself. Um, yeah. So I will see you guys for the next three episodes or four. Unfortunately, I wanted to do another one, but I still have a couple more animes I have to record tonight. So therefore. Yeah, I will see you guys next time on Hunter Hunter. Yes. Just remember, guys, leave a like on this video and also hope you enjoyed the review. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think of these three episodes. Um, 
and also subscribe if you have not subscribed yet you guys have been unbelievably supporting these videos just remember you are terror squad i am mr terabyte reacts and i will see you guys for the next one peace